how to install Google AdWords conversion tracking to your website. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you can install conversion tracking to your website. In this example, I will be using WordPress site. When you log into your Google AdWords account, press on Tools, then press on Conversions. There are many different types of conversions that you can track. If you are advertising your local business and phone calls are being tracked, from your Google AdWords, then you can track the conversions for that as well. You can go to the help section of AdWords to learn more about what else you can do with conversion tracking. So we'll just simply use the website conversion tracking. But as you can see, you have different methods for conversion tracking. Okay, Simply select the website let's imagine that i want to track the conversions per page view i can do that if you're running a new commerce site and you want to track conversions per your purchases you can track that too. let's just say view premium courses and I want to have that as a conversion tracking. Let's hit done and now let's assign a value. Here you can assign a value as to each time someone clicks on your ad, comes to your website and each time that happens you can say well each time that conversion happens then assign a value accordingly. Or you can say you know what the value of the conversion action changes depending on your products and services. Then you can assign a different value accordingly. Okay, let's just as an example, 10 people land for my premium courses page, one of them convert as an example. Well, on internet, that's a really good conversion rate, right? So let's just say the value of that is $2 as a sample. Or you can say, you know what, I want to utilize conversion tracking, but I don't want to assign any value to it. So you have that option as well, okay? So let's just, as a sample, leave it at that. Now, the count of conversion is obviously important for you to consider. You can say each time an ad is clicked and that conversion action happens, then count that as a conversion. Or you can assign one ad click leads to three different conversions. You can choose according to your cap. Let's just say every time that happens in this example, the conversion window time frame can be changed. You can read through the details here. Or you can view through um, conversion window. Once again, you can say, okay, within two weeks, Track it according. Okay, let's just say now here we have, as you can see, it's very intuitive, right? You can say, you know what, it's just a view of a key page. In my example, I can assign tracking to this saying, you know what, my advertising with AdWords, if it, you know, um, someone clicks on it, lands here, that's a view of a key page it's an important page or as i've said you've got a new commerce site you want to track conversions for purchases you can select that or you may have a sign up page or just a lead you can track that accordingly let's just choose this one for this video tutorial okay including conversions you have the the conversion column in your campaign columns for your ad groups and so on you can select that accordingly so that you can see it when you're analyzing your campaigns and ad groups okay let's hit save and continue now it's saying okay here is the code that you need to grab and then place it on your website now this is a wordpress site I have many different methods to insert this to this website now. I'll show you the simple ways. 
when you are logged into your dashboard go to appearance press on editor then depending on your theme that you're using whether it's parent child theme you can select and find usually the footer.php file will allow you to insert that code before closing of the body tag all you have to do is simply locate that and as I've said it's usually footer.php file and then just before the body tag as you can see that's the end of the body tag right so just before the end of the body tag you simply paste that tracking code now what is very important with Google AdWords is that your website and the privacy policy thoroughly informs your website visitors about your tracking implementation on your website because that's part of Google policy which you have to then read through it okay so that's one method to install this now what we can do we can utilize many different methods as I've said now I show you web hosting we can go to file manager whereby your WordPress files are residing in now I'm showing you this just in case you're not utilizing WordPress if you have a static HTML pages then unfortunately you have to include that code in the, the body before the body tag ends right if you're using magento you still can log into your web hosting manager and locate where the template files are bringing the end of that body tag and then you simply update the file because now once the file is updated if I press on Control R it will refresh the page now if I press on Control U on my keyboard and then scroll down now I will see the tracking code on my website now Google can also see this as well so now each time that conversion happens you'll be able to track your conversions before we close up I'd like to also show you that when you press on conversions menu option on the left hand side you have Google Analytics you can press on that because with Google Analytics if Google Analytics and Google AdWords are linked together then you can create your goals in your Google Analytics and actually import them to your Google AdWords account allowing both powerful platforms to assist you with your Google AdWords campaigns I thank you very much for learning with me if you benefited from this video session please give me a like for this video and share it and I'll talk with you in the next video session